In the world of space exploration and innovation, there's one name that stands out above the rest, Elon Musk. He's the richest man on our planet and has ambitious plans for the future of space travel. But behind every great leader is a remarkable team, and today we're shining a spotlight on Gwyn Shotwell, the president and chief operating officer of SpaceX. Since joining the company in 2002, Shotwell has been instrumental in turning Musk's bold vision of space exploration into a tangible reality and a sustainable business. From a small startup to a major player in the space industry, Shotwell has overseen the day-to-day -day operations of SpaceX and is currently in charge of the company's Starship program and Starbase facility. Do you want to discover the fascinating story of how Gwyn Shotwell became SpaceX's president, why Elon Musk convinced her to leave her previous job and join him, and what her ambitious plans are for the spaceship program? Stick around to find out. Gwyn Shotwell was born in Evanston, Illinois, to parents who were a brain surgeon and an artist. She was an outstanding student and an athlete in high school, excelling in both academics and sports. Her interest in space and engineering were still developing. In fact, she even found the Apollo 11 mission broadcast to be boring when she watched it with her family in 1969. Her interest in engineering wasn't piqued until her mother took her to a panel discussion hosted by the Society of Women Engineers at the Illinois Institute of Technology. A mechanical engineer on the panel particularly inspired her, motivating her to pursue a career in engineering. Shotwell decided to study mechanical engineering at Northwestern University after graduating from high school. She earned a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and a Master of Science in Applied Mathematics at the same university. She then went on to work for IBM, where she saw the Challenger disaster during her interview. Despite this ordeal, Shotwell persevered and went on to work as a thermal analyst at the Aerospace Corporation in Los Angeles. Shotwell got her first real taste of space at the Aerospace Corporation. As a thermal analyst, she ran real-time shuttle heating models on supercomputers during the STS-39 space shuttle mission. She ran real-time models of shuttle heating on supercomputers as it orbited the Earth and fed that data to mission control at Houston Johnson Space Center. However, she realized after a while that a company like the Aerospace Corporation, which primarily did analysis, might not be the best fit for her. So she joined Microcosm, which primarily sold services to the government and space firms that she had met through the Aerospace Corporation. This change enabled her to explore new opportunities and broaden her horizons. In May 2002, Shotwell's friend Koenigsman started a new job at a new company named SpaceX. They celebrated by going to their favorite El Segundo restaurant, Chief Hans, for lunch. There, she met Elon Musk. She had an impromptu meeting with Musk, and it lasted no longer than 10 minutes. Musk talked about his plans to reduce launch costs by developing his own rocket engine and keeping other key components in-house. It all made sense to Shotwell, who had worked in aerospace for over a decade and was familiar with its sluggish pace. She suggested that the company hire someone, full-time, to sell the small single-engine rocket. Musk decided later that afternoon that he should hire someone full-time. He created a position of vice president for sales and encouraged Shotwell to apply. Shotwell had not considered the possibility of a new job. She liked her job, and by summer of 2002, she felt she needed some stability in her life. Musk was hiring to work day and night, and she had a lot on her plate in her personal life. Almost 40 years old in the midst of a divorce with two young children to care for and a new condo to renovate, it would be good for the aerospace industry to have someone like Musk come in and shake things up, but did she want to disrupt her life as well? While driving on the motorway in Los Angeles, Shotwell had a revelation. It was the difficult part that was most important. It was worthwhile to take that risk and be a part of something exciting. Shotwell applied and was hired by SpaceX, which turned out to be a turning point for both Shotwell and SpaceX. While Elon Musk brought funding, engineering skills, leadership, and more to SpaceX, it required more than that to succeed in the global launch industry. Aerospace companies in the United States and institutional rocket businesses in Russia, Europe, and elsewhere were fiercely protective of their launch business. NASA, the US Air Force and other government agencies were generally content with the status quo, and the major US aerospace contractors had well-oiled congressional lobbies to ensure status quo prevailed. Gwen Shotwell possesses the brashness of Elon Musk, 
but also understands the political terrain and has the sophistication to navigate it. Her hiring allowed SpaceX to break free from the constraints of a more traditional aerospace company. On her first day, she began developing a strategy to sell the Falcon 1 rocket to both the US government and small satellite customers. Her job was to shake things up in the industry and to turn SpaceX into a force to be reckoned with. Shotwell was tasked with securing contracts for SpaceX and persuading customers to take a chance on SpaceX. Shotwell's sales skills and strategic thinking helped her to secure several key contracts, including a $278 million contract with the United States Air Force in 2005. But it wasn't until 2008 that her leadership abilities were truly tested. SpaceX was on the verge of bankruptcy at the time and desperately needed a lifeline. Shotwell's unwavering determination and persuasion skills persuaded NASA to make a billion dollar investment in the company. It was a risky move for NASA, but it paid off in the end. The contract not only saved SpaceX from bankruptcy, but also provided the company with a necessary boost to become the major player in the commercial space industry. Following the success of the NASA contract, Shotwell continued to secure launch contracts worth several billion dollars from all possible sectors. She was appointed president and chief operating officer of SpaceX in 2008, and she has held both positions for the past 14 years. SpaceX became the first privately funded company to launch a spacecraft to the International Space Station in 2012. Since then, the company has secured several missions to the ISS, thanks in part to Gwyn Shotwell's hard work and dedication. She was instrumental in securing SpaceX's first mission to the ISS. She worked tirelessly to persuade NASA that SpaceX possessed the expertise, technology, and commitment to safely transport cargo to the ISS. Her efforts were rewarded in May of 2012, when SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft successfully delivered supplies to the station. Shotwell has grown in importance at SpaceX in recent years. In 2018, she was tasked with overseeing the company's Starship program, which aims to develop a fully reusable spacecraft capable of transporting humans to Mars and other solar system destinations. Shotwell is also asked to oversee the Starship program in Elon Musk's unplanned absence, which may include an expansion of her current responsibilities or the day-to-day -day operations of the major SpaceX programs. The Starship program is still in its testing stages, but it has already made significant progress, thanks in large part to Shotwell's supervision. It's safe to assume she's directing SpaceX's first Starship orbital flight. The Starbase facility in South Texas is where the company is developing and testing the Starship spacecraft. The facility will also serve as the launch site for SpaceX's first missions to the Moon and Mars. Shotwell has taken over management of the Starbase facility, and she's in charge of making sure everything runs smoothly. Shotwell's accomplishments at SpaceX have not gone unnoticed. She has been recognized as one of the most powerful women in business. And in 2020, she was named to Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people. She is also a sought-after speaker, having spoken at major conferences and events all over the world. In 2017, she was awarded the Women in Technology Award by the Women's Forum of New York. She was inducted into the Space and Satellite Hall of Fame in 2018. And Forbes ranked Shotwell as the 31st most powerful woman in the world as of 2022. We hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and watch these ones as well.